All right, what's up guys? So right now I'm editing the video you guys are watching. Weird, I know. But yeah, before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know, um, I just wanted to address some questions and some comments that I keep on getting asked and brought up. Um, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to just go on rants to make people feel a certain way. I mean, if this video really hurt you and the rant really got to you, I'm sorry, but yeah. But, you know, this is just my opinion. Uh, if you don't like it or if you do like it, comment below. We can have a discussion or, you know, just... Yeah, so... A little warning before you guys get all mad. Or before some of you get all mad. So, this is just my opinion. Again, I'm nobody. So, you know, don't get butt hurt. What's up, guys? So, Liz and my parents, um, on the way there, I started noticing like a plastic rubber burning smell so I pulled over and I checked the inverter in the back and it's starting to rub on something so I don't know what it is and it started, only started happening after I replaced or after, after I installed the lights in the back so I dropped her off at my mom so she can hang out there for a bit and then it's fucking hot as shit I don't know if she were here she'd want to be out here and it's like a hundred something right now it's fucking horrible so I'm gonna try to find a way to route the lights all the way through into the battery so they can get straight from the battery instead of messing up the inverter back there so yeah that's what i'm gonna do today i'll show you guys what i'm talking about right now so something back here is rubbing and it was causing it to spark there's a little burn mark down here you don't know if you guys can see it but yeah so i'm gonna try to get this all fixed and then that'll kind of help this out too because i can run all of this all the way straight through to the battery so that's what i'm gonna be working with today So I got most of it wired and routed the way I kind of want it. So this is the box that connects the actual lights changing color, which connects to these two little things. Then this feeds feeding power, or the inverter's feeding power to this, which isn't drawing that much. Then I have two heavy duty wires going straight to the second battery. So that's gonna wire the whole light setup back here. So that way I have no nothing to worry about. I just want to kind of cover up these little parts right here and make sure nothing comes in contact right here because right here we put the tent and the tent bag has some kind of like zippers and I don't want them flopping around and hitting back here. But yeah, I got everything pretty much cleaned up. Cleaned up this little space right here and just have it running straight up, over, and then through. Relays down here, uh, the box for the lights, the inverter, and then what uh, wire running to the battery so yeah that's pretty easy not too bad so there's fucking like a hundred something over here and i got the swampiest bee hole and the clammiest yeah but yeah so yeah and then let me show you what i did with the switch so i'll let you guys see that right now all right, what's up guys? So for the switch, I decided to mount it right here, like 
by the cup holder. I wasn't mounting right here, but one, I don't want to put my cup down and I hit it accidentally and be driving the whole time like a dickhead, flashing people in the back. And I didn't want to get it wet. Like it's waterproof, but I didn't want to risk it. So I just put it right here. It's easy access, you know, like really easy to get to. I tilted over the CV. That way I have some room right here. Like it's plenty of room. So I decided to go there. So I came through the back. Uh, it's running under this mat, running into the box. Then it's coming out through here. So I don't know. I thought that was a cool place to put it. Like right here would have been badass, but now my dumbass would have been like, oh, and then I'm driving for fucking like four miles, just people piss behind me, and then we got to get out and fight. And so yeah, um, so that's why I mounted the switch. So it turns on. It's running out the second battery, so I don't have to put anything on. No gate, no ignition has to be on or nothing. So I don't know. That's a pretty cool spot, I think. And sorry, I'm recording aside for that noise. It's father-in-law is fucking going at it again with that gas tank could have had a new one by now but I don't know but yeah so that's the switch install I cleaned up the wiring back there everything's a lot cleaner now so pretty much the trucks ready for the trip it's just if I have time to get to the spark plugs I'll do the spark plugs if not no big deal I mean they're what like a year and a half old so I don't mind Trucks running like a champ. Um, I want to drive it a little bit more, and then see, make sure that everything's perfect, and then yeah, can't wait. So yeah, let me turn the camera around, and then I gotta address some things. All right, what's up, guys? So. I'm driving around the block, make sure I don't hear any sparks, I don't hear anything weird back there, I don't smell any funny noises. So we're gonna go around the block, and while I do that, there's a few things that I wanna, not address like in a bad way, but I've been getting asked a lot, like a lot, a lot, and I don't know, like I don't wanna dedicate a full video of me going on a rant, because one, that'll probably get my YouTube banned, and then two, I'll make a lot of enemies, which I really don't care, but you know, like, it's kind of fun meeting new people and it kind of sucks like right away when people meet you and they're like, oh, you're, you said this and... All right, so first of all, I don't know if these are pointing at me. First of all, I have nothing against Toyotas. I like Toyotas. Growing up, I used to want a Toyota. I said this before in one of the videos, I used to always go and hit up gardeners and be like, hey, how much you want for a truck? Because I was really into like the mini trucking back then. And I used to love racing them. I used to have like S10s, I used to have a Blazer. I, I used to love racing and I still do, I race this, I don't care. But yeah, it's not that I like Toyotas, I just don't like how it's like, oh, we're elite. No, you're not, shut the fuck up. And I don't care, like, yeah, there's some badass race out there. Like, I'll admit, there's badass race of every fucking make and model. And that's what makes me mad is that like, people are like, oh yeah, you wanna go do this? Go get this, or go get that. No, fuck you, like, you know? And I wanna be like, sound like your typical Overland bound and be like, oh, it doesn't matter what you drive. But then it really doesn't, you know? Like, I'm in a fucking 90 Bronco, like, I just barely got AC. And I'm loving it. So it doesn't matter what you drive, it doesn't matter, like, if you're just off the lot or whatever you wanna do. Just enjoy it and have fun with your family, have fun with your friends, go see new places, meet new people. And that's the thing, it's like, I know I talk a lot of shit and I make it seem like I don't like Toyota, but it's not that at all. I don't mind Toyota. I wouldn't drive one personally. I just don't mind it. Like, I, I know a lot of Toyota guys and, you know, whatever. You, you choose to drive what you like and that's it. I just, to me, they're not for me. Secondly, um, how do I say this? Yes, I am an Overland Bound member. Like, I know like a lot of people out there fucking hate it. But honestly, I'm gonna be straight up. I've met a lot of cool ass fucking people. Like, yeah, he might be making money, but you know what? Like, if it wasn't for him, a lot of us wouldn't have met. And if it wasn't for him, a lot of the people you like or you follow, you wouldn't have known either, idiot. So, you know, like, I don't know, for all the people that are like, oh, you're just your typical Overland Bound member, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, like, I'll go to meets. I've met some cool ass people. Like, me and my wife, like, we've seen it. We've seen people that are cool as shit. We've also seen people that are just like, fuck, like, you're a dick. Like, we could be, like, you know, we're part of the same thing, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna hang out with you. So that's number two. Just because you have a community of people, it doesn't mean they're all the same and, 
you know some of us hang out with a different crowd some of us hang out or some of them hang out with a different crowd that like you need this or that to go on the trail not me thirdly and lastly i've been getting a lot of dms of why i've put in so much money into a bronco instead of just getting a jeep or a forerunner a tacoma or a tundra and it goes back to what i was saying earlier like to me I love the Bronco. Growing up, I used between a Bronco and a K5. I used to, I love, love square bodies. Like, I love square vehicles. I hate round cars. They look like shit. I don't like those lines to me. And again, this is my opinion. And it's funny how people get mad at my opinion on my YouTube channel. Like, you know, if you have your opinion, go start a YouTube channel. Tell me your opinion. I'll watch it. I'll sit there and listen to you. But you know what? That's why. I've always wanted a Bronco, I've always wanted a K5. When I met my wife, when we first started dating, I found out her dad had a K5 and I was like, no, no, no thank you. I saw I'll go with a Bronco. Not because like, I have nothing against that. I just, I wanna be that, I don't know, I've always liked being different. I've always liked, oh, oh you can't do this. Like, okay, I, I bet you I can. I've always been smaller, I've always been, you know, I've always liked to go against the grain. And I like being the underdog, I like being, like, I don't know, ever since I was a kid, like, even like, oh, he's gonna get his ass beat. Baby boy's got hands for days. But, yeah, uh, I don't know, that's why I picked the Bronco, like, I like to commit to something, put my money into it, make it what I, what I want it to be, and over the past couple months, it's come a long way, like, this thing has transformed completely, like, even my wife started to like it. My wife's always liked it, but now she's like, hey, like, let's go here, and now she doesn't mind it. Before, we would go on trips and be like, well, can we take the Mazda because it has AC or can we take this or that? Now it's like, where are we going next? And I love that. Like, she'll even send me, like, on, like, uh, Instagram, she'll send me, like, links to, like, places we want to go. And that's awesome to me. So that's one of the main things I wanted to do. I wanted comfort. I wanted reliability. I, I didn't want to just have a fucking beast with accessories. And I focused on the engine. Engine's where I want it to be. Then I started working on the AC for comfort, and now I'm doing little things in there to make our camping experience a lot better. So, that's why I chose the Bronco. One, to be different. Two, I love Broncos. Three, it's a square body. I love square bodies. And just, I don't know, like, it's big, it's a fucking beast, and I love it. And I got a great deal on it too, so. Uh, my wife was pregnant when we got it, so that kind of helped out a lot. But yeah. One, I don't hate Toyota. I just hate the elite Toyota guys. And like the whole, oh, we're better than everybody. No, you're not. I've seen people in like fucked up ass internationals that'll fucking just smoke you guys on a trail. So, you know, there's people in Australia that do this shit every day. And they're like, Toyota what? Toyota who? So that's my thing. I like Toyota. I've always been a fan of Toyota, but am I going to ever or want to be a Toyota guy? No, thank you. And I mean, in my block, there's like a bunch of Toyota guys and they're cool as shit. Like they actually take their rigs out. Watch, I'll do another lap and I'll show it to you guys. They actually take their rigs out and, you know, go actually smash, not just like, oh, I'm a, I got a photo shoot this weekend. I'm not saying all of you do that, but a lot. So yeah. You know, like, I just wanted to address those things because, I don't know, I could go on for hours and hours on these rants and there's a lot more questions I want to address, but, yeah, I, don't, I really don't feel like it. So, I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to show you my neighbor's rigs, you know, and they actually fucking go out, they fucking smash, so, you know, good for them. It's totally illegal, no one saw this, alright. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you their rigs, and then I'm going to head home, upload this video. So all the negative comments can start. Thank you for watching, enjoy, like, subscribe. Thank you. See like this one. This is a Toyota, I like it. Built for a fucking purpose. This thing's a fucking beast and I know he takes it out. That thing is a fucking machine. So like that, like that, I love, I love that truck. It's a beautiful truck. You know, it's beat, it has scratches, it has dents. Beautiful. And then he's the other guy. This guy went to high school with my wife. Uh, I really haven't met him, but I know that every weekend when I see it, it's dirtier and it has a new scratch and I like that. So here's this one. I think this one's a little bit newer, I'm not sure, I don't know the years of these. But, 
See, this one's built really well too, and it's got a nice little rack. But he takes off his tent and puts it away, and I think that's not his daily, but somewhat of a daily. And then you got these two motherfuckers over here. This guy has a fucking Subaru, a fucking mall crawling Bronco. Yeah, I said it. And then he's got this fucking bad boy. That thing's a fucking beast. Which in the back and the front. So, you know, build a rig to your purpose and then use it. Don't build it to be like, yeah, I'm gonna get followers, I'm gonna get all these likes, because you're not. People are gonna look at you and be like, all right, bro, when are you gonna take it out? Well, at least the people I hang out with. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Peace out. Let me know how much you hate me. What's up guys? So, 